Boston, two workers at a steam plant transported to the hospital after a pipe ruptured. CBSN Boston's Tiffany Chan is on the scene with the latest. Tiffany? On a still an active fire investigation here on Neyland Street in Boston, you can see fire crews responding to a ruptured steam pipe at around 945 this morning. They're opening up the windows here to let some of that steam out to isolate this incident. But of course, they were called here at around 945 this morning um, and firefighters actually had to rescue two workers from inside of this energy plant from the basement. As this happened, they said that these two workers suffered possible injuries dealing with that steam, possibly burn injuries. But here, firefighters had to be very cautious because initially they thought they were dealing with a gas leak. So it forced them to shut the gas off from the inside. And when they got into the building, they realized that a steam pipe had actually ruptured in the basement. Now, we spoke with EMS who said when they're dealing with old buildings and a lot of machinery and pipes, it can be very tricky. Take a listen. Uh, so I can't get into their injuries uh, with a lot of specificity. However, um, you know, with steam, there are steam burns, and while you, you'll, you can see burns externally easily enough, steam always brings with it the concern of inhalation injury, so it will have to be evaluated for inhalation injury as well. But at just first glance, it would appear that they're non-life-threatening injuries. But with steam, it complicates it because can't always see the injury that they're dealing with. Now, again, those two workers that had to be rescued from the basement taken to the hospital with non life threatening injuries. OSHA is on the way to investigate this. There was also a fire at this building earlier last week. They'll be investigating whether these two incidents are related. Live from Boston, I'm Tiffany Chan for CBSN Boston.